Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're going to take a look at release 2024.14 which is also the spring update with the new visualizations for some cars. So the first update we're going to look at is average speed zones. So this is a really clever one. Um, for a while now it's been able to tell you where there's a speed camera but in quite a few countries certainly in the UK um, they average your speed between two different cameras and so you have to keep your average speed below and not a single point in time. This helps address that and it actually tells you what your average speed was so you can see whether you've been drifting above or below or what you need to do to get below the right speed. The next update is to do with your navigation and if a better route becomes available. Now the cars for many years has had the option to set a time where if an alternative route um, is going to save you that amount of time then it will change your route. It's now giving you, you the control to pick that route or to reject it if you want to stay on the journey you're currently doing. Tesla are now also lifting other updates. A number of websites, including our own, have sometimes published a set of undocumented features and it looks like Tesla are doing that for us now. So the first is when parked you can expand the browser to full screen. There used to be a number of workarounds and hacks to do this but now it seems to be official functionality. The second change um, is to do with sentry mode recordings and as well as deleting them from the car, it now looks like you can delete them from the Tesla app as long as you have 4.32 onwards, which again means you can save space, although we rarely find sentry mode takes up so much space that you have an issue. The next change is a little security enhancement. If you've uh, put the car into valet mode, you'll now get notification when the car's been unlocked or effectively been driven. Um, so you can actually check up on your valet parking people if they're moving the car around and how fast they're driving because you can now see that in real time because you're notified when they're doing it. There's also a couple of games changes. Um, we're not into games so much, but I'm sure they'd be useful for some people. There have also been some security improvements, no idea what they are and it seems to be something as part of every release nowadays. The next one which we think is a big one is speed camera chimes. One of the big gripes with the speed camera notifications was you had to be looking at the screen to know that there was going to be one. You could see it on the map, on your navigation route, but you didn't get audible warnings so we think this is a big improvement. There's an update to Spotify as well, which presumably means you can have lots of cars parked up and blasting out the same music. Uh, the trip progress bar is also a new change. We're not quite sure what this is going to give you really that the map didn't because you need to have premium connectivity and therefore to see the traffic information you could see that on your route. But I guess it's telling you how far through a journey you are so you get some sense of progress. The big one really is going to be the visual updates which is user interface version 12 and this is only going to be available as far as we understand it on the cars with the Ryzen processor. So that's cars built from around 2022. The graphics are also very similar to the ones that were used on the Cybertruck, in fact the style is very similar. So they've just ported that over now for the other cars. The notes suggest there are updates both to when the car is stationary, including this bigger screen, but also when the car is in use with expanded autopilot visualizations. The last change in these release notes we've seen so far is to do with wiper controls. And I think Tesla are finally admitting that the auto wipers are not great and they're giving us more options in terms of manually controlling them. I don't know why it's got a release note all of its own because the controls actually seem to have been there for a while and we certainly use the scroll wheel to control the speed. Anyway, that's a, a run through of the release notes that we've seen so far. Our website will automatically update as new notes become available if they do. Um, we take them directly from cars so you can always trust them.